Welcome to the Web Lizard series of dashboard tutorials. The light version of the Web Lizard dashboard is a simple yet powerful content exploration tool. It helps you to analyze the public debate across news and social media channels, or to track the latest articles published on the websites of companies, non-profit organizations, and government institutions. As a first example, let's investigate the recent coverage about the German car brand BMW. The initial view resembles the results of a typical search engine. Clicking on one of the documents will activate a preview in the right sidebar, including a link to the original page in a separate browser window. In the lower area of the screen, you will find a series of tabs for different ways to present and visualize your search results. Switching to the Tag Cloud, for example, shows the main keywords associated with your search term. This helps you to better understand how others perceive a brand or how they approach a certain topic. The plus symbol on the right allows you to expand your search. Each new search term is assigned a different color. In the tag cloud, these colors indicate which associations belong to a particular search term. Keywords in gray relate to several or all of them. Clicking on a keyword narrows down the search results to documents that contain this keyword in addition to the original search term. A small icon next to the filter status message removes this restriction should you want to revert to the entire set of search results. With the slider, you can adapt the level of detail in the dashboard's various visualizations. For the tag cloud, it increases or decreases the number of shown keywords. Moving on to the next tab, the keyword graph is an alternative way to visualize associated keywords using a hierarchical structure. It is straightforward to broaden this comparative analysis with additional search terms, such as the car brand Toyota. The configuration menu in the upper right corner provides several options to customize your analysis. The source selection specifies which content to include for example, news, stakeholder websites, or social media posts. The content filter narrows down the set of search results by specifying words that these results must or must not contain. This is an important setting as it enables you to compare the perception of brands or issues in the context of a particular topic such as mobility. With the date range setting, you can select the exact start and end dates of the analysis. The shortcut buttons allow you to limit the analysis to the last few days, weeks, or months. Interface mode allows you to switch to the professional version of the dashboard, which is described in a separate video tutorial. Before using this option, please note that your current search terms and other settings will not be saved. Once you confirm the configuration, the system updates the results and displays the chosen filter term mobility in the upper right corner. In the lower right corner, the sidebar shows the selected date range together with two icons to download the current analysis or to learn more about the underlying methods. Now that you have set the date range to the desired interval, you can use the next two tabs to reveal changes over time and incorporate them into your decision making. The trend chart first plots the frequency of mentions for the chosen search terms. It then uses keyword labels to highlight major peaks and summarize the underlying events. The story graph is another visual method to present the emergence and evolution of topics. Each story represents a cluster of similar documents. The size of an area indicates how many related articles belong to a particular story. The next tab allows you to explore these stories in more detail. Each story is represented by three descriptive keywords a lead article, and several related documents. Clicking on any of them activates the preview in the right sidebar. The cluster map is another way to visualize groups of related search results. Each bubble represents a document. The color distribution of bubbles within a cluster reveals whether they stem from just one or from multiple queries. The final tab shows the geographic distribution of search results with the ability to zoom into the map to generate a more fine-grained display. The size of the bubbles reflects the number of documents that refer to a specific location. Similar to the drill-down features of the other visualizations, clicking on a bubble lists these documents in the right sidebar. 
The final part of this tutorial will demonstrate a different way of using the dashboard. To investigate the coverage on the chosen filter term mobility in detail, rather than comparing brands, let's first remove all previous searches. Instead of typing in a new term, clicking on the edit icon opens the search editor. It allows you to access predefined searches, referred to as bookmarks, as well as various metadata attributes. These attributes help you to structure and analyze your search results. Sentiment is a popular example. Once activated, the dashboard visualizations use green and red colors to highlight positive and negative perceptions, respectively. To choose a different set of metadata attributes, just click on the Edit symbol again. In many cases, segmenting the results by content source or by country yields additional insights. For example, you can compare opinions voiced in the United States, Canada and Ireland. You will also notice a list of associations with keywords often mentioned together with the filter term mobility. Selecting a few of them is a great way to narrow down your search, as the remaining results now reflect the specific aspects that you have chosen. We hope you have enjoyed this brief overview of the light version of the WebLizard Visual Analytics Dashboard. The online documentation at weblizard.com forward slash dashboard summarizes the available data services and visualizations. It also contains a link to the video tutorial of the dashboard's professional version. Would you like to learn more about the platform and its wide range of applications and use cases? Then please contact us at info at to request a test account or schedule a webinar.